Sleep. Sleep is a topic that of mine that is... I'm recording in, in my work studio, which I shouldn't do, but... No, I shouldn't. I'm gonna move, I wanna move down to my thing. Uh, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go down. Let me go downstairs. Be back. Okay, sleep. Sleep is a very interesting topic of mine that I've struggled for a very long time. Um, recently, over this past week, I've been sleeping at a very good time, 5 to 6 to 7 to 8. Previously, I would not sleep at these times because I would feel formal with my friends being awake and playing video games. Now I don't really care because, like, you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because because the other video, like, like I just I just made earlier, it was like, oh yeah, uh, fuck it, you're gonna be alone anyway, so uh, just focus on work. Like, fuck that shit, bro. What are your, what are your goals? Focus on your goals. Like that type of Sigma male type grind, right? I think even though that can sound cringe to a lot of individuals, I think it's extremely helpful for me because it helped me fix my sleep. Because if you think about it. Uh, like, why do we stay awake in the, uh, late in the first place? Is is it because we fear the next day? Like, if you if you if you like, write a list of why people stay awake late, like it usually is stupid reasons that involve like FOMO, fear, uh, and not necessarily idiocracy, but more so you know naive, childish levels of um, rationalization. It's like, uh, oh, my friends are awake, so I should be awake too, and it's like. Oh, um, I don't want the next day to come because thing. Uh, so if I stay awake, I can get more hours in the day. Or well, not necessarily. Sleep is a must-have. Like you can't avoid it. You know, yesterday I, I went to bed actually really late. I went to bed at nine p.m., <laughs> which is not for my old self being awake at like three, four, five p.m. in the morning. It is not late at all. But for my current self, that's late because I usually sleep a set uh, thing. Usually five to six. Later times like seven, but like I superseded this sleeping at nine because my friends were on on Discord and I wanted to talk to them about like like religion and politics. It was like a podcast segment, but um, it was a, it was a bit of a risque podcast segment. So if I if, if I recorded it and um, try to release it to like to the masses, it would not work because motherfuckers would be extremely offended. Um, <laughs> dude, dude, where's the fuck my tissue? So I can breathe. Yeah, so yesterday I went to bed streaming late, 9 p.m., but I felt so good going into bed. You guys don't understand. It was cold. It was a cold winter night. I put down my curtains. I put my mattress down on the floor, and then I just tucked into bed, and I was just, I felt so cozy and calm and just happy to go to bed. I was so grateful to go to bed. Like, finally, I can just let go of my work and let go of all this bullshit. And, like, that, 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 that entire... Premise, I've never been that happy to go to bed, by the way. That entire premise has shifted, like, my perception on sleep. I used to fear it because I used to, um, how do I, not necessarily, I used to fear it because I used to, like, fear the next day. I don't want the next day to come. I said, I needed to spend as much time on this one day as possible. 3 a.m. motivation, all this bullshit. The moment I fix up my sleep, the rest of my days become easy. Very weird to say, but it's the truth. The moment I fix up my sleep, I just realized, like, holy shit, like, I, instead of being productive at night, when I should be sleeping, I've been productive during the day. I can just shift my pro productive times. And instead of uh, like you know trying to scramble for the, the, as many hours in the day as possible, I can just get sleep up and out of the way as soon as possible. So when I do go to sleep, I don't get like in a hibernation phase. Because what I would usually do, I would stay awake until like 3, 4, 5 a.m. I would try to stay awake until like 5 p.m. The next, um, the next day. And I would go in a hibernation phase. I'll sleep like 20 hours. 24 hours. I, 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 my, my recent highest sleep like score, no, it's not, not like a sleep score in like an app, but like a sleep score in the amount of hours I've, I've slept is like 18 hours. 18 fucking hours being asleep. Usually it's like 10 now these days. Well, I slept, I slept at 9, um, uh, 9 a.m., no, 9 p.m. Uh, yesterday, and I woke up at 7 a.m. today. That's pretty much um, 10 hours of sleep. Yeah, so, that, so it's perfect. I have like, in my opinion, like great sleep now. Like, it's very rejuvenating. It's very, like, it's very thing. I woke up, instantly go back to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, instantly go turn on my laptop, go back to work. You know, a bit of fuzzy-eyed. But I, I have, like, the ability, the energy to actually just get up and get out of bed and get on, crack on with what I need to do. Which is so different from before when I would, like, I would have to fight for my life to get out of bed. And even when I, when I did fight for my life to get out of bed, I would have zero energy in entirety because... I, w I would just fuck up my sleep so bad from the night before from um, like, um, like a series of bad judgments, a series of bad choices and I would feel the repercussions of the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and at a certain point those repercussions, those bad feelings would be my, like, my baseline so I would, that, that would be normal for me and when, once I actually go back to like an actual 
like a real, like a real, like you know, I mean, real normal person sleep ten hours a night, you know, nine to seven, which is which is, nine to seven is good time, but it's not it's not the perfect in my opinion. And like a five to, a five to three, five p.m. to three uh, three a.m. wake up, a six to to four a.m. wake up. When I go to those times, like I feel like extra extra juice because when it's because when it's when it, when you wake up at three a.m. You get that 3am motivation. What is 3am motivation? 3am motivation is like when it's super quiet, in my opinion. And you have like an ability, your ability to think. You have like space and time to think like away from the hustle and bustle of like the um, thing of, of the morning. But it's 3am, so it's like the hustle and bustle of the morning hasn't started yet. No one's fucking awake. So you still have that time to get that 3am motivation to work and energy like into back into your work. You just like wake up, go back into work. And then, you know... Do the, do the normal people should brush your teeth. <laughs> That's what I do. I do it after. I do it after I eat now. Which probably isn't good. Yeah, I, I, got, I, got, I got to do some experiments about that. But yeah, for the most part, this is like... The best, like this is like a big way of how... Like, I don't know I don't know when it started. I think it's been like one week exactly. I've been... I've had... I'm starting to have good sleep. And when I had, when I did boxing before as well, I had bad sleep because... Um, it was boxing like 6 to 9 and then it will take me another half an hour to get home 9.30 and then it will take me like another half an hour... To like, uh, like to just get ready for bed and shower, and that's ten p.m. Ten p.m. Good uh, like sleep time. Ten p.m. doesn't sound that bad, but um, in my opinion, it's extremely bad because like the time you're gonna wake up the next day and like it, I don't know, it's just it's a very very annoying process. It's very very annoying. And then there's like leaving boxing early, but then like you train less, and then you know it's just you know when you when you when you when you have your next spar, your next fight, it, it's, you're gonna get fucked up because though that those small amount hours or the small like thirty minutes of per training session that you you skipped. It catches up to you, you know. So uh, I don't know. There's a, a lot. There's a lot to take in. There's definitely a lot to take in. And I think our sleep is very, very important. And fixing it has been one of the greatest things I have achieved in a very, very long time. Honestly, any money I made, any work I like, any work I've achieved, any goals I have, they they're very, very like how do I say this? Minuscule compared to like the sleep that that I've been able to achieve. I don't have a sleep score tracker. I don't have like the, the aura ring, and I don't have all those things. But if I were to scale, I'd probably be in, in like in eighties. I feel good. I feel good. Slightly tired when I wake up, but um, that that slowly is super fading. I have to admit the truth as well. That is fading away. But then I drink coffee as well. I have a weird like adverse effect to coffee. Like I try to drink coffee to like, to get stay awake and stay stimulated in the morning. But coffee almost returns me to my baseline when I'm tired. Only when when I'm tired, it returns my baseline. But in the morning, I have like the natural energy that I have is enough for me. So I'll probably at 1 p.m. I uh, think to try that. So I think I would recommend anyone re uh, listening to this video at, the, at this moment, like try to try to get your sleep super early, get the next day super early as well. I think it's a great, a better thing because the next day is inevitable anyway. So you have like an early start to the next day and like uh, monitor your coffee usage as well because coffee is just a stimulant that thing get, it gets you from point, point A to point B. So yeah, definitely try to try to um, thing experiment out with your sleep. I would definitely always try to recommend sleeping early. Sleeping early is just such a cheat code. My cat outside. Okay, no, it's not. It's fucking cold inside. Why would he be outside? You try to try to revamp, try to revamp the hours in which you sleep. I think that's extremely useful. I mean, oh man, just I don't know, yesterday I was so happy. Like I just I had my phone right next to me. I didn't have it on charge, which is kind of dumb of me. But I still have ninety three percent. Let's fucking go. Ultra battery saver. Oh, what is it, cat? Go in my bed, dude. Go in the bed. Oh. Anyway, yeah, I, I would definitely say like the happiness that I felt going to sleep was was it's it's indescribable. Like I, I I was like a child again. I was like tucking into bed, like just like yippee, you know what I'm saying? Like a very very childlike happiness that I felt. And I think mastering your sleep, going to bed at an early time, is like definitely step one. I I, mean, I saw this video of this woman before, like like a woman on self improvement. She's like the things I used to do when I was a kid. Now I'm doing as an adult. And then one of them one of, one of the facets was like. Working, exercising, and going to sleep. Your sleep, it's like, oh, what, 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 I don't understand. Like, I, I, I want to try to, like, pick, nitpick my brain when I was trying to stay awake at, like, 5 a.m. in the morning. I don't understand exactly what I was going through my mind. Such unhealthy habits are so normalized in the modern day that like, we forget how good healthy habits are. Like, being healthy, it's just, it, it, bro, you feel so fucking good when you're healthy. Like, it's so... Uh, it's so different to like. Oh my god, my brain just lagged. Anyway, what I was going on about, like you retain and you no reobtain, not retain. You reobtain like this childlike happiness when you fix your sleep. When you fix your like, how do I say this? 
um, I, I guess, like, what are your primordial needs, to be perfectly honest with you? Like, well, the Maslow, uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, sleep and sleep and sex and food and water, those things are, like, are, like, what you, like, on, are, are on the baseline of what you need as a human being. But like I said previously, in the modern day, it's so normalized just to be a fucktard <laughs> and get horrible, horrible sleep. <laughs> and again, not only are you getting horrible sleep, but like it's so it's so normal to get horrible sleep as well. Like all your if you're in like a gaming group, you, all your gaming friends are just like just <laughs> yeah, I, I find it hilarious. All your gaming friends, they're just like, oh my god, about that. I got distracted again, which is not good. But it's so normalized in the modern day, like for all your gamer gamer friends and all your gaming people, if you do game, which I don't recommend at all. I think it's stupid. But all of them to just like have horrible sleep because they awake to like 5 a.m. in the morning. And like, they, they, they're human beings at the end of the day. They're not like, you know, just continuing on, snapping on, continuing on the day. If they do continue on the day, they're probably so fucking tired the point that, to the point where like it becomes difficult to function. Or uh, they're just sleeping uh, in, uh, instantly after, like after a while. Which means that they're just promoting, not even promoting, they're just following and abiding by horrible, horrible sleeping habits. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, like sleep. Like, what are you missing out on if you if you don't sleep? Let's, let's ask that question. Your friends play video games. Your friends might go partying. One of them might even get laid. Oh my god, huge! Like, what the like, what the fuck? At the end of the day, you can do the same thing at the, at the, in, the, uh, in the morning, and then you get morning bitches. Morning morning women are better than uh, thing nighttime women because nighttime women are just here, here to party about. But if you can if you can pull pull women in the morning, it's better because they're gonna be like more productive and shit. Like in the gym, for example, in the morning, you see, you see like a cute girl there. It's better than seeing a cute girl like in in the evening or something because she's probably like, more open to do shit. I remember I remember the psychology was like if you want to text a girl, you want to text a girl at night because then she's more willing to like you know do shit. Obviously, you know what that is. I don't know this video uh, community striked. I mean, I don't think I get community started. Actually, no, I can't. I don't care anyway. I don't, you, I don't think you literally. I don't think you can. Uh, oh my god, my brain's lagging, dude. Anyway, back to where I was before about sleep. Like, I would love to nitpick my brain and nitpick the brains of other individuals that have horrible sleep schedules. I would love to nitpick it because if unless these individuals are hyper productive, which they aren't, they're probably just like playing fucking video games or some dumb shit. Or like watching movies or some dumb shit. Like unless these individuals are hyperproductive like that, then I doubt like they should be you know sleeping late and sleeping in during the morning. The morning is the perfect time to get um um thing. The perfect time to uh, get sun not get sun not only get sunlight but get shit done for the most part because early in the morning three a.m. four a.m. five a.m. No one's fucking awake. It's still the same feeling as 3 a.m. motivation, but this time you actually have a burst of energy if you're actually like naturally sleeping well. You know what I'm saying, guys? So it's just uh, I don't I don't know. Like these individuals are so confusing to me because these individuals are so how is backwards thinking. Like I said before, like how, on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it says you need a good good sleep. So what do you do? You get bad sleep. Like what what the what the flip? Like you're just gonna you're just gonna you're just gonna mess yourself up for the future. And it's gonna like give you kidney problems and shit. <laughs> I don't know what the other adverse effects are. I could probably ask GP, GPT or something. But you, you know what I'm saying, guys? It isn't a good thing. I'm sound like a, I sound like a boomer saying this, but sleeping early, waking up early in the morning, getting work done early in the morning, three a.m. when it's still dark, and then by the time it's like six, seven a.m., nine a.m. in the morning, you can get your forward after like three to nine. It's six hours of fucking work. Everyone is just waking up. You're already six hours ahead. And then you can get your sunlight, and then you you know you're on your own like you're on your own time uh, time scale time threshold. You, you understand what I'm saying, guys? So it's a whole different ball ball game once you just sleep early. And you gotta trust me. I mean, I don't know why you have to trust me. This like it's, it's probably the smartest thing you can do. You have to you have to do the right thing. You have to sleep early always because if you I mean what if you don't like what the fuck is the point? Do you fear the next day coming? Do you fear the next day? Do you feel becoming older? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like um, when I when it comes to the individual sleeping late, I really don't understand because you're going to come older anyway. Like it doesn't matter if you stay awake or you go to sleep. You're, you're going to come older anyway. And if you don't go to sleep and then you're thinking you try to stay awake as much as possible, then what's going to happen? <laughs> what's going to happen? You're, just, you're, going to, you're going to become even older because you're not getting good sleep um, for your health. So it's it's even worse for you. I I don't I don't get it. I don't I, I honestly don't get it from the bottom of my heart. It's so. 
man, ah, oh, man. So, I, I wish if you're if you're if you're a young like a young American or something watching my videos. I don't know why a lot, a lot of young American kids watch my videos. If you're a young American watching my videos, the top thing, the top ten things I would recommend, like, it would not only be like, working out and trying to make money and working hard and you know trying to speed run school and try to try to try to go ahead and become stoic and but the, the first thing I would recommend, the thing that you can change the most, is probably sleep. Is is the most immediate thing you can change. Like that night. That you, you want to go you, your thing that night that you're your thing that you, uh, like this night that you, the night you usually stay awake until like 11, 11, 12, 1 a.m. in the morning. Just choose to like to put down the phone and just tuck into bed. And it might be hard. Like it probably took me like 10, 20, 20 minutes to, to get to bed. But when I did, like I got I felt so comfortable and happy the entire time because I knew deep down in my heart that I, I was doing the right thing. I was doing the right thing. And I would be better off infinitely after I do the right thing. Honestly. So I'm going to work. Yeah, so that's all I'm going to say to you for this video. Um, if you are a young man watching, young woman watching my videos, then I, I don't know, a lot, a lot of motherfuckers do. Um, especially Americans. Some, some people in the UK as well. Like, um, yeah, just, bro, just get good sleep. Get good sleep. And after a while, like, you're going to be so fucking juiced. Honestly, you're going you're to feel great. And after a while, you can actually start to begin to plan your day. Like, I remember, like, Hamza and these guys talking about, like, you know, using Google Calendar and using these applications. Brandon Carter was talking about using Google Calendar and all this, all this shit in order to schedule your day. Bro, you can't schedule your day if you don't even know when your day starts. You can't schedule your day if you're sleeping like shit. This is not possible. This is just straight up not possible. You can't do that. Because like, you're not even scheduling your day at that point. You're just fucking yourself. You know what I'm saying, guys? You're just fucking yourself. That's the only thing I, I could possibly tell you. You <laughs> just, guys. Honestly, it's so bad. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. But I think I, I, don't know, I think I've like uh, um, I've given my two cents enough when it comes when it comes to the sleep in the video. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Live mediocre, die mediocre. Be better, be better. Or something like that. Stay safe. Peace.